Hi Aries, I hope you guys are doing well. Hope you had a good weekend. We're just gonna get into your energy and see what you have coming in. This deck is very large. <laughs> so it is uh, hard for me to shuffle sometimes. Bear with me here. Uh, what messages do we have for Aries this week? What does Aries need to know, spirit? Ten of Swords is the first card out, which is not great. Um, closing of cycles, painful cycles, being backstabbed. This also kind of speaks to feeling exhausted for me. The Magician, Five of Pentacles, Two of Swords, Judgment. Let's see, the bottom of the deck. Page of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles, King of Cups, Six of Wands, the Devil, King of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords, the Hermit. be dealing with a Taurus, a Scorpio, a strong Capricorn energy here, a Cancer, Libra, Virgo, um, also possibly a Gemini. Those are the, the signs I have coming through. Um, okay, so there has been painful endings here. Somebody has kind of been in a karmic cycle of being backstabbed, of being uh, manipulated and betrayed by people. Somebody was manifesting lack into their life. And it's because they were um, not making a decision. They were kind of stuck and not moving forward. They were avoiding making a decision in their life. And it was kind of a uh, trying to protect themselves, but they were protecting themselves by um, blinding themselves to what was in front of them. So they uh, had a lot of bad people in their life. They were in a negative mindset. They were manifesting a lot of lack into their lives. So lack in relationships, lack um, in opportunities, you know, struggling financially, possibly moving around a lot. Um, with the moving boxes here and then the for sale sign. Somebody uh, may have had to sell a property recently because they were struggling or just had to sell off some stuff uh, because they were struggling financially. Um, you, this person was um, manifesting this into their life though. They were manifesting this lack into their life and it was because they weren't making a decision. They weren't moving forward. They were remaining stuck in bad situations and it, it was more so to protect themselves. They uh, kind of just shut down and they weren't making movement in their life, they were staying in bad situations, they weren't going after stuff that they um, should have, they weren't listening to their intuition. Um, judgment, ne they needed to call judgment in a lot of situations in their life, and I get that this person just felt so anxious about it that they just shut down and they refused. So the people that um, could have benefited this person, the people that were, you know, healthy relationships ended up, you know, walking away from this person because they weren't making movement in their life and they were in a very negative state. Um, you know, and people might have been like, you know what, this relationship is dragging me down. I feel like, you know, you're not going anywhere in your life. You are in a very negative headspace. I'm trying to be there for you. Um, and you are just kind of dragging me down at this point. So I, I don't know how to be there for you anymore. I have to distance myself type of energy. Um, and so they were manifesting people into their life that kind of took advantage of the fact that this person was disconnected from their intuition. And, you know, just kind of like <laughs> when the going got tough, this person just kind of like rolled over and closed their eyes is the type of energy here. Um, Page of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, King of Cups. Somebody's wanting to make an offer, possibly apologize, um, because they are in love with somebody here. 
they're wanting to renew a certain situation, but they're, they're taking a while to come forward. Um, and it's because they are wanting victory in a situation, but there is with the devil, there might be, um, because uh, this devil card speaks to like materialism. There's a lot of toxic energy in this person's life and this person might be like very hung up with materialism. You know, they, they want their life to look a certain way. This person might be like kind of obsessed with designer or trying to impress other people, you know, blowing money on trying to impress karmic people that don't really matter in their life. And it's put this person into poverty. This person is struggling financially and I get that it, it might be this person is just like really obsessed with their image and trying to appease everybody, try to impress everybody. The type of person that when they go out, they want to buy everybody's drinks, even though like they're spending their rent money. Because with the boxes here, I do get this person has had to move. They might have had a downsize or they, they like have to move around a lot and it's because they're just not financially stable. Um, they might be dealing with roommates and they're, you know, living in very toxic situations or, you know, the the roommates feel like this person isn't helping out the way that they should. This person is just kind of like really sabotaging their life or they, that's the energy that they work in. Yeah, with the king of um, pentacles, this has like a daddy and then like the jewels in this person's hand. This person wanted so badly to be accepted by people that they just allowed people to take advantage of them. I get that this person like bought a lot of people's stuff, you know, dealt with a lot of karmics and was buying stuff for the karmics, spending money, trying to impress people, and they've put themselves into poverty doing this. I'm getting two different, um, possibly two different, there's a queen of cups, queen of swords. So this could be two different queens here. Um, the Queen of Swords is somebody that has cut somebody off. The Queen of Cups is somebody that uh, is very loving, very giving, but it can verge into, you know, being codependent, emotionally manipulative with the water energy. The more, more so what I'm getting here though, Aries, um, is that there are two people that vibrated together, two people that genuinely loved each other, cared for each other, but I get one person because I'm getting, you know, the two queens and then the two kings, the king of cups, king of pentacles. Um, I'm not, I mean, it, it could be that there are two different people here, um, well, four different people, but kind of what more so I'm getting is that there are two people that genuinely love each other, but the masculine energy here is very obsessed with the material and it holds them back from moving forward and sharing their heart with this feminine energy because they are obsessed with their image. They're obsessed with impressing people. They spend all their money trying to press other people. They have a very unhealthy relationship with money. Um, and they're even wanting to come in like they're, Underneath it, they're, you know, have very strong loving feelings towards this person, but they're wanting to come in and like flash money around and impress this queen of cups. Um, or that's just how they have had to attract relationships in their past. So that's how they think that they need to approach this queen of cups. But really, you want to approach a loving person in a loving space. You know, you want to meet them where they are. Um, and what I'm kind of getting here is that this feminine energy uh, was loving before, but now she's gone cold on this person and she's chosen herself. She has decided to focus um, Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords, the Hermit. She has chosen to focus on herself, be self-sufficient. Um, she may have tried to help this masculine energy, but I get this masculine energy just, you know, didn't move things forward with her, didn't make an offer, maybe even tried to manipulate this person financially, um, was in a dark space, was choosing karmic people. So this uh, feminine energy just cut this person off, chose to focus on themselves, chose to go their own way. And I get that by cutting this person off, this masculine is feeling kind of lonely now and depressed because they're recognizing that they've manifested this into their life with their mindset and with their bad choices. Four of Wands, somebody is wanting um, a relationship here, possibly if it's Twin Flames wanting union. 
not wanting to give up on this situation, waiting for situations, um, waiting for something to come in so that they can move forward in love. And it's causing them a lot of heartbreak here because um, they feel blocked from moving forward and being able to give to this relationship. Um, they're seeing the truth now that they are in love with this person and they're wanting to communicate that they're in love, but there are a lot of burdens that they need to take care of first. They're very burdened in their life. And um, I get that this person might be even like, dealing with some psychological issues or they have somebody in their life that is experiencing a lot of mental health issues because with the like Britney poster here, you know, it was when Britney like shaved her head and went through that like mental health break and she was kind of harassed by the media, which made it a lot worse. Um, I get that this person feels very chaotic and kind of depressed. They um, aren't showing this though, you know, because this guy is sitting here kind of calm, um, but my attention keeps going to this like poster. <laughs> this person is trying to act like they're fine, that they're not bothered, but they're struggling a lot right now. They might be struggling with their mental health or there are people in their life that are struggling with their mental health and is causing burdens on this person because um, I feel like this person already has a lot on their plate. And it, it might be uh, karmics in their life that are um, experiencing mental health issues and you know burdening this person, trying to, uh, you know. A side story I'm getting here is somebody, um, this doesn't have to be for everybody, somebody has a karmic feminine in their life that struggles with mental health might be uh, bipolar, schizophrenic, um, somebody that has like uh, episodes where they, um, you know, require a lot of attention or, you know, it, it might be somebody has a drug problem and they kind of like go off. There's something that there's a masculine that deals with a feminine energy that um, kind of like has episodes where they will create a lot of chaos, will make really bad choices and um you know possibly like disappear for periods of times like go on a bender something like that it's somebody that they feel like they have to take care of in their life this person causes a lot of burdens and um i feel like in the past this person has tried to help this person financially you know when this person went off on a bender this person would cover for them this person would try to pay their rent this person would try to take care of this person in some way um and now they're recognizing that that person was very karmic in nature and that person was very manipulative, backstabbed them, betrayed them, kind of used them as like a safety net. Um, and they're, they're recognizing that now and that relationship has either fallen apart or they're trying to move away from that relationship. But this person um, that has the mental health issues is very manipulative, um, makes this person feel like responsible for them. Yeah, the full Knight of Wands, this person is trying to get away from this person or distance themselves because there's been a lot of lying about money. Um, this karmic uh, feminine energy that I'm getting, and again, a feminine doesn't necessarily have to be a woman. It can be a man. It is um, a passive energy. So that would be in alignment with a man that requires, you know, somebody to take care of them would be a feminine Um not saying that feminine men require somebody to take care of them, but a negative feminine, you hope you get what I'm saying. Um, a low vibrational feminine energy would be a, like, I'm helpless, I can't do anything, I need you to help me. Um, in some cases, we're, we're not, that would be a whole video. <laughs> that would be a whole video. That's like a toxic feminine energy. Um, a low vibrational feminine energy is more so of a like codependent i'm gonna like take care of you um to try to like win you over you know anyways <laughs> that's like a, a entire video explaining that that's a lot of information this person <laughs> this doesn't, again doesn't have to be for everybody take it how it resonates can be a woman dealing with a man a woman to woman man to man whatever stop I don't like when people get hung up on pronouns. They're not that important. 
I use pronouns because that's how you follow the story. <laughs> Otherwise, it, this, this is what we have to go through every time I bring up a person, so please. There is a masculine that deals with a feminine that has severe mental health issues, that has like psychotic breakdowns that you know, requires hospitalizations at times, might need to go to rehab. This person has been putting up the money for this person to do that, paying this person's rent, possibly paying for this person to go to rehab, paying for this person to go to like, you know, the person they're dealing with might not have insurance or not have good insurance or, you know, this person just feels like they have to go run behind this feminine energy and clean up their mats all the time. And they put up a front that that's fine and that it's okay and that they're not bothered by it. You know, it might be a family member that they have to do this to. It might be like an ex. It's somebody, a friend. It's somebody that they feel responsible for. And they're recognizing here that this person has been using them in some way. That person was using them. There's been some deception around uh, finances. So this person, yeah, this person may have been acting like, you know, I can't control myself. I'm going on benders. I can't pay my rent. I need you. I'm sick. And the whole time this person is really putting it on, putting on a show kind of to... Uh, Take this person for what they have. And I get that this person has recognized it now. Um, they've recognized that they've kind of made a mess in their life and they need to fix it. And they're wanting to move back towards somebody that they love, but they can't. They're being blocked now by this other party. And it's causing them burdens. Yeah, the death card. Could be a, a Scorpio. Somebody needs to end karmic situations. But this this person that they're dealing with is incredibly manipulative and does have mental health issues and this person does feel responsible for this person. But they're recognizing that this person, again, is not there for them, it's not healthy for them, you know, hurts them financially, they can't move forward, possibly, you know, pushes this person to have mental health issues because they're so stressed out about it, they don't know what to do about it. Anyways, let's move on. Ten of Swords. Can we clarify Ten of Swords? Seven of Pentacles. The Emperor. This is your card, Aries. Uh, the Star. Yes. Somebody um, is recognizing that they aren't able to step up and manifest what they want into their life. They're not able to take control of their life until they find healing here. King of Wands is another Aries card. Somebody has learned here that um, abundance, that a healthy family, you know, generational wealth, that is being held back from them because they are juggling they're juggling somebody that puts them in a rejection and holds them back, puts them in poverty. Uh, somebody that they have been giving a lot of their time and energy to here has been intentionally holding this person back, causing chaos in their life. Yeah. Two swords twice. Makes this person, this person doesn't know what to do. They don't know how to deal with this person. It's like, they feel so responsible for this other person. And I get that it's a grown ass adult. They feel so responsible for this other person. They literally can't have a life of their own because this other person will not allow them to have a life of their own. Anytime this person tries to move forward, anytime this person tries to make plans, anytime this person tries to do better for themselves, this other person um, is like having an episode and they need help and they need money and they can't afford rent. And like, it's just like, Every time this person tries to move forward, this person is holding on to them and pulling them back into poverty. I don't know what I did with that card. <laughs> pulling them back, um, making them feel rejected too. So I get that this person has mental health issues, is verbally abusive to this person, causes a lot of heartbreak for them, but does not allow this person to move forward. This person wants to move towards an empress here, but they they don't know how. They just feel trapped. And they're recognizing that the more they stay in this situation, the more they're manifesting lack into their life because they feel trapped in this situation. Can I clarify the magician? Yeah. 
Yeah, seven of uh, swords in reverse. There was a lot of deception and lies and betrayal um, that are coming out now. And this person is realizing that they have been manipulated with the magician. They're realizing that they've been manipulated by this other person. The death card. This situation, they know the situation needs to end if they want to manifest. They want to manifest uh, somebody coming back into their life. This is somebody... Um, if this is not you, Aries or Cross Watcher, this, um, this person is trying to manifest you or you're trying to manifest a soulmate here, the Empress. You're trying to ma manifest somebody back into your life here, but you're recognizing now that until you let go of this karmic situation, you can't. You have to end it and transform so that you can manifest. As long as you're tied to this person, they're going to continue to slow you down, Knight of Pentacles, um, Will of Fortune, they are slowing you down from this change in fate here, the world. I told you, they're karmic. It's a karmic cycle you're in. This is a karmic individual that is incredibly manipulative, betrays you, backstabs you, puts you in bad situations, and makes you feel responsible for the chaos they cause. Can you clarify the Five of Pentacles? Page of Cups. Yeah, somebody um, wants to move towards somebody that they know that they're happy with, but they feel like they don't have anything to offer you right now. They want to communicate love. They want to move towards you, Empress. It's the Emperor wants to move towards the Empress here, but they don't feel like they have anything to offer because they are struggling financially right now. They don't feel good about themselves. They are very defensive and anxious about this situation because again, it is a karmic cycle that they've been in and they have to close the karmic cycle before they can move forward. It's causing them a lot of anxiety because like I said, they feel responsible. They don't know how to walk away from this other person. Yeah, it could be a twin flame relationship, the lovers, the empress eight of wands they are um they want to move towards their empress this is counterparts here they want to move towards um their empress and they're anxious about it because they feel that their empress is moving away from them but again there's a karmic here that blocks them and they know that the karmic's blocking them yeah six of pentacles this karmic um, demands all of their money, all of their time, all of their attention to keep them trapped and blocks this person's success. This karmic has been intentionally blocking this person's success. Um, they know that you're a soulmate. They know they want to move towards you or, you know, this is you and you feel this way towards an empress, but you don't know what to do because there is a karmic individual here that is intentionally blocking you from moving forward. Yeah, Judgment, Chariot. Aries, Cross Watcher, whoever this is, your advice from Spirit is to make a decision to move forward. Judgment coming out twice. With the Justice card. Yeah, somebody's at a crossroads and you need to make a decision to take a leap of faith here. Stop holding on to this um, individual. They're fucking with you <laughs> they're not as bad they're not struggling the way that you think that they're struggling they're putting it on to take money from you they're putting it on so that they can keep you stuck with them this person has serious mental health issues it's not your burden to bear the chariot four of wands move towards this relationship or union um your foundations are about to be blown out of the water. <laughs> Aries or cross watcher, whoever this masculine is, spirit is going to knock. A wrecking ball is coming. If you don't call judgment on the situation, uh, spirit will call it for you. And I guarantee you're not going to like when spirit calls the judgment for you because it's going to be a lot messier than if you would have just done it yourself. If you know beforehand you need to call judgment, you can make plans. You can put sit you know put things into place if you wait for spirit to take care of it it's going to be like a sudden loss of a job getting evicted you know like something not great happening 
I'm not trying to scare anybody, but you know, if you need to move and you're not moving, you're gonna face tower after tower after tower until you realign to your path here. Judgment, justice. You need to call judgment on this situation if you want justice. Stop allowing this person to take advantage of you. Hermit, you need to walk away from this karmic individual. They are no good. They are bad energy, Aries. This is bad energy, this other person. Yeah, you need to heal. This other person is a narcissist here. They're a narcissist. They uh, are not as sick as they pretend to be. They put it on um, to take money from you and to keep you stuck. This person is um, possessive over you. They don't want you to move forward. They don't want you to be happy. They don't want you to be successful. Uh, they want you attached to them and they, they want to use you for money. So anytime... They feel like you're moving forward anytime they feel like you might be getting a life of your own all of a sudden they're sick right all of a sudden they need help all of a sudden they can't make rent this person is fucking with you um and i get that you know that you've recently realized that but you're having a hard time detaching because you feel responsible for this other person they are fucking with you they're fucking with you spirit has said twice judgment clarified by the judgment call judgment on the situation this is a karmic individual here you're going to get justice, but you have to move away from this person, detach from this karmic here. If you don't, spirit will do it for you. And you're not going to like the way spirit does it because it's going to be abrupt <laughs> and shocking. It is much easier, like I said, to detangle yourself. But that is your reading, Aries. I hope you guys have a good week. I will see you again soon. Bye.